Hello all, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'll be talking about uh, the differences between infolets and uh, info tiles. So I've already uh, done a video on how to create uh, infolets, uh, how to hide them, activate them, create your own custom uh, infolets. So if you have not uh, gone through the particular video, please check the uh, description uh, section of uh, my current video. But uh, at a high level, uh, Oracle Fusion applications, infolets and info tiles are uh, seeded items that reveal key information about the business. They both act as uh, dashboards, alerting the business users to items that need to be prioritized. So infolets are available via navigational dots or uh, analytical sections. So let me just uh, show you how the infolets appear. So let me... Yeah, so this is how your uh, homepage uh, looks like. So within the homepage, if you go to the bottom section of the homepage, oops, where are we? Okay, let me just close this, open once again. So this is your uh, homepage and if you go to the bottom section, so this is where you can see the infolet. So these are, uh, some of these are uh, seeded uh, uh, infolets and some of them are, uh, are uh, customized. So as you can see here, uh, infolets are available via navigation dots or analytical section. So this is a uh, analytical uh, section. Uh, by expanding its extension arrows, it provides both summary and uh, detailed details. So here, if you look at, uh, let me maybe just take one example. So if you look at this, so this is a dashboard which is giving uh, details of uh, the operating income forecast and what exactly is the change. And if you click on this, which is uh, not this is back view, or maybe let me take uh, something else, which can give you, yeah, if you look at this, uh, it can give an expanded view. So this is the margins. So if you look at the expanded view, So this is the expanded view and uh, this is the collapsed view or uh, uh, yeah, uh, this is the collapsed view. So, and you can also, if you want, you can uh, hide them, uh, some of these uh, info lets. So this is where you can see the info lets uh, under the analytical section. Now, sometimes you can also see the info lets at the top. So let me just change the uh, the homepage, uh, the theme of the homepage, and then you will understand how they appear. So let me go back to my landing page and uh, change the theme. So let me select this uh, HCM vision theme. <coughs> so this is what uh, this is what I was talking about. The infolets which appear under uh, your uh, navigational dots. So if you look at here, so these are all the infolets. So this is the general accounting infolets and uh, this is the user defined infolets and uh, leave this the auto to cash infolets. So this is about the infolets. Now let us talk about the info tiles. Info tiles also give a kind of a specific information uh, to the user, but uh, they appear only in a specific work area. So I'll take an example of the info tiles within the uh, invoice uh, work area. So let me okay, change the theme and go back to invoice work area. So under uh, payables, so let me click on invoices. And uh, this is, uh, these are the different uh, info tiles under invoice uh, work area. So here, if you can see here, this info tile says that <coughs> there are uh, say 21 uh, scanned invoices, uh, uh, which are uh, kind of older than 15 days. There are no scanned invoices in the last four, 15 days. And uh, within the last 24 hours, there are no recent invoices. You can click on this, which will change the uh, duration. So still there are no, Invoices in the last three days, click on this. There are no recent invoices in the last five days. I'm going to go back to yeah, seven days and then 24 hours. Similarly, this info uh, tile gives the details of uh, there are uh, 28 invoices which are on uh, hold. Uh, and uh, this gives the details of the invoices uh, which are pending for approval or uh, the invoices which are rejected 
and any prepaid invoices and if i click on uh, say if i click on this it will give the details of all those 28 invoices so this is the section area so within the section area it gives the details of those 28 uh, uh, invoices which are on hold and if i click on this it will give you the details of those two invoices which are on hold so this is where uh, uh, info tiles appear, they are specific to work area. So again, if you go to say a receivable section, you will have some of the uh, info tiles there which are specific to that receivable section. So in that receivable section, probably it will show uh, maybe say incomplete invoices which are created uh, or the invoices which are created in the last seven days, all the incomplete invoices and uh, so on. And um, unfortunately, we cannot create our own uh, user-defined uh, info tiles, uh, unlike that of info lets, wherein you can create your own user-defined uh, uh, info lets, but info tiles, it's not possible. You need to just leave with the existing info tiles which were provided to us by uh, Oracle. And uh, it displays that, uh, if you see here, it details the details unique to the work area in this question. So it just gives the details of only uh, uh, invoices, uh, in this, uh, because this particular uh, space is about the invoices, so all these info tiles are related to uh, invoices. And it is not possible to create your user defined info tiles, and info tiles cannot be disabled or hidden. You cannot again disable or hidden, uh, unlike uh, info tiles, wherein you can do that, but in the case of info uh, tiles, it's not possible. So, this is uh, a difference between the info lets and uh, info tiles. I know like a lot of uh, users get confused with info lets and info tiles, and I got a request from various uh, subscribers asking me to create a video on uh, showing the difference between info lets and info tiles, and hence this video. Thank you. Thanks for watching my video. For interesting videos uh, on Oracle Financials, please do subscribe to my channel. Thank you.